Hi, kids. I'm Storytime Pup, and welcome to the Storytime Pup Show. I'm so glad you came by to play. I love when my friends come by to play, and you're one of my friends. Are you ready to have fun? Let's see what we're going to do today. Magic Marker, show us what we're going to do today. Yay! It's storybook time! We love storybook time! Hi, kids! And thanks for stopping by today! We got a really great book for you today. Today's book is Have You Seen My Egg? And it's written by Andrew Fairchild and illustrated by Melissa Schultz-Jones. Are you ready? Okay, let's get started with this book. It was a beautiful spring morning, and the sun was just starting to rise. Red, the farmer's head rooster, awoke from a dream. It was a dream he had had often, and he just knew it was true. Clucked one hen. What's all the commotion about? Clucked another. I bet it's Red again, with his silly dream about having an egg. A third hen said, while sipping her tea. When will you give up on this crazy idea? Roosters don't have eggs said the eldest hen. Don't bother us with your nonsense. We have eggs to hatch. Now back to work, ladies. Break time is over. I guess no one wants to help me, Red thought as he walked away from the hen house. But I know my dream is real. It just has to be. Maybe my egg is in the garden. It must be there. in the garden, Red looked behind every cabbage, turnip, and radish. Nope, not here, he said aloud with a great big sigh. Suddenly, out jumped Rabbit. Hello, Red. Why the long beak? Rabbit laughed while nibbling his carrot. It seems I've lost my egg, Red said. I'll help you find your egg, Rabbit said, as he hopped off quicker than lightning. Is this your egg? Rabbit asked. No, that's just a tomato, Red replied. Well... It doesn't look like your egg is here. Maybe it rolled into the pond, Rabbit suggested. Red took Rabbit's advice and walked to the pond. Oh my, Red said aloud. How will I ever find my egg in there? I don't even know how to swim. From behind a rock, a voice croaked. It's easy. What are you doing, frog? Red asked. Fishing, my boy. Fishing. 
Do you think you could help me find my egg? Red asked. Before Red could say another word, Frog jumped into the pond and quickly returned. I believe this is your egg, Frog said proudly. No, that's not my egg. Red shook his head. That's just a pebble. Oh my, Frog replied. That's unfortunate. Well, if your egg is not here, maybe your egg is in the barn. Why didn't I think of that? Thank you, Frog, Red said as he hurried off to the barn. the barn, Red shivered. Why so blue? A voice echoed from the darkness. Who said that? Red replied, his eyes as big as the moon. Red became quite scared, but his egg was worth it. He held his breath and slowly entered the barn. Cat slowly appeared from out of the shadows. Forgive me, I came to the barn hoping that my egg would be here. Red explained. Would you like me to help you find your egg? She purred. Would you please? I would be so grateful. So off they went to look for Red's missing egg. Found your egg! Cat yelled. There she was, rolling around on the hay, playing with a ball of yarn. Red sighed. No, that's not my egg either. That's not an egg. A deep voice from high above filled the barn. Who are you? Red asked. Who am I? I am Owl, the wisest of the wise. What is this I hear of a lost egg? I've lost my egg. Did I understand you correctly? You say that you have lost your egg? Yes, that's correct, Red replied. Oh dear, I don't know how to tell you this, but roosters do not have eggs, Owl explained. I had this dream. I, I had an egg to take care of. I have to find my egg, Red tried to explain. As I said before, you do not have an egg, and that was only a dream, Owl interrupted. Please forgive me. I am very tired and must get back to sleep, Owl yawned. Nighttime comes so quickly. Without a glance, Owl disappeared back into the darkness, way up high in the barn. Suddenly, from out of nowhere, there was an enormous thunderclap that shook the barn as it began to rain. Red sat silently in an empty barn as the wise Owl's words repeated over and over in his head. How will I ever find my egg now, he thought, as tears began to form. But deep in his heart, he heard a voice pushing him not to give up. Without thinking, Red ran out into the rain and continued the search for his egg. I won't give up. He kept repeating as he scurried through the rain. The rain poured down harder and harder, making it almost impossible for Red to see. But he still did not give up. a distance, Red saw something floating in a ditch that was overflowing with water. Could it be? He thought. He ran towards the floating object 
Excitement consumed him, and tears of joy overwhelmed him as he quickly approached what he had searched for for so long. My egg! Red shouted. He jumped into the flowing water. Red did not think about the fact that he couldn't swim. All he could think about was rescuing his egg. Red held onto his egg as the current of water pushed past a branch that extended over the ditch. Red clamped onto the branch with his beak and pulled himself out of the flowing water. Red skittered back to the barn and quickly gathered some straw to make a warm bed for his egg. At last I have found you. I will always love you, he said quietly as he placed his egg in the straw bed. Red laid beside his egg and peacefully went to sleep as nighttime filled the sky. came, and it was quiet across the farm. There was no cock a doodle do Red had overslept. He woke with a start. My egg! He cried. Red looked down to find his egg just as he left it. It wasn't a dream. He smiled with joy as he looked down fondly at his egg. Red had believed deep in his heart that he would find his own egg to love. And there it was. Just like he always knew. The End Wasn't that a nice story? I thought so. It just shows that if you believe in something and follow your dreams, you'll find what you're looking for. What are your dreams? No matter what you want out of life, just chase your dreams. I hope you enjoyed this book. A big thank you to Andrew Fairchild for that great book. You can read more about this author by looking in the description below. Wasn't that great? I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click on the thumbs up button below. Moms, dads, and adults, please leave your and your children's comments below. This way we know what shows you like so we can make more of them. There's one more thing that we always do at the end of every show. Magic glasses. Magic glasses lets me see some of my friends who came to play. Maybe I'll see you today. Magic glasses, that's the way. Show me my friends who came to play. Okay, now everyone smile and wave and let me see if I see you. Oh, I see Allie and Adriana. Oh, there's Layla and Adam. Hi, <laughs> Chase and Jordan. There's Maya and Jessica and John and Ivan. Hi, Camilla. There's Aiden and Anna and Tyler and, and Tanner and, and Rylan. I see a lot of my friends waving at me. Did I see you today? If not, maybe I'll see you next time. Make sure you check back soon, because we'll be adding a bunch of new shows every week. Make sure you have an adult. Click on the subscribe button right here. That way you won't miss any of the fun. Moms and dads, make sure you visit the Storytime Pup website to sign up for our great free giveaways. We have giveaways for books, CDs, DVDs, t-shirts, and other great stuff. Sign up just once, and you'll have a chance for all the drawings to come. And kids, don't forget to tell your friends about Storytime Pup. And before I go, here's a great big hug for all my friends. Thanks for stopping by to play. I'll see you real soon. Bye now. The fun's not over yet, kids. Click below for more fun videos. There's children's books, let's pretend, and games. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking right here.